Welcome to Axis 4000, the Anywhere, Anytime HD commercial vehicle alignment system. Well known globally for its precision, repeatability, and efficiency. Before starting a measurement, set up the system's components. Make sure the vehicle is already on the turntables with the locks released and that the floor is either level or measured for inclination. Establish a box around the vehicle with the reflector stands. Place a scale bar with reflectors on tripods as close as one meter in front of the vehicle. For best results, align tripod height to the center of the wheel hub. Measure the frame's center line by mounting a magnetic pogo stick on the frame near the second axle. A second pogo stick and reflector will be mounted on the passenger side. Make sure the pogo sticks are mounted in the same position on both sides. Set up the rear scales the same as the front at least one meter from the rear of the vehicle. The pogo stick reflectors will be used on the rear scale once the frame has been measured. While shown indoors for this demo, the system is designed to work in all outdoor or weather conditions. Another system feature is it does not require a lift, a pit, level floors, or dedicated bay. Attach clamps to the steer axle. The system uses pre-calibrated clamps to eliminate the need for runout compensation. Clamps are magnetically attached to the lug nuts with ease. To attach the camera to the clamp, pull the attachment bolt up slightly and push the camera onto the shaft until it clicks into the groove. Lock the camera on the shaft by gently tightening the bolt. The precision cameras are ruggedly designed to withstand shop handling. They are suitable for all weather conditions and hold a charge up to 10 hours. Cameras connect wirelessly to the Axis 4000 software and are operated simply. To take the frame measurement, point the camera slightly up to the pogo stick reflector. When the green light appears indicating the reflector is red properly, press OK. The go tone indicates the measurement is good. Repeat on passenger side. Then move reflectors to the rear scale. The software automatically switches to set up toe scale. Step by step instructions are available on the left side of the screen for this and all other measurements. Using your thumb and fingers, move the rear scale side to side with the bar on the software screen going from red to yellow to green and as close to zero as possible. When the red line appears in the frame, the back half of the frame is measured. Walk to the front of the vehicle and flip the cameras to the front reflectors. The scale will appear for the front half of the vehicle. Again, using your thumb and fingers, move the front scale side to side with the bar on the software screen going from red to yellow to green and as close to zero as possible. When the red line appears in the center of the frame for the complete vehicle, front and back, press continue. From this point on, it is important not to move the reflector stands. Steer axle measurement for camber, SGMP, toe, and turn angle begins now. For camber, Make sure the cameras are facing forward and press the camera button on the screen. Results will appear immediately. Press SGMP on the screen and point the driver's side camera to the front scale. Press OK when the green light appears. Rotate the camera to the rear scale and again press OK. SGMP is now complete. Press the toe button on the screen and point the driver's side camera to the front scale. Press OK when the camera's green light indicates the camera has read properly. Rotate the camera to the rear scale and again press OK. Repeat on the passenger's side. Toe measurement is now complete. Live readings for all steer axle measurements can be seen at any time by pressing the green circle next to each measurement. This includes camber left and right and SGMP to center the steering gear. For tow, bring the analog needle to desired specifications when adjusting the tie rod. Axis 4000's rugged and durable handheld tablet can be taken to the work area so technicians have quick and easy access to the data for measurements adjustments. If your system comes with the vehicle specification database, they can be added for all axles being measured at any time during the measurement for reference. Press the scale symbol on the right side of the program screen to add vehicle specifications. 
most major manufacturers are included. In addition, specs that are not included with the spec deck can be added manually and saved by the user in the software. Select manufacturer, make, model, years, and axle type for specs. Specifications are available with before and after measurements on the summary page for each axle. The final measurement for the steer axle is turn angle. This process gives results for four measurements, caster, kingpin inclination, toe out on turns, and max turns. Following the on-screen stop sign and arrow instructions, turn the wheel consistently and quickly to the right. When the stop signs appear, stop and wait for further instruction. When prompted by the arrow, turn the wheel again quickly and consistently all the way to the left. Be patient during turn angle measurement. The system is processing a lot of data all at once. Also, it is important to remember that the vehicle must be running with the foot brake engaged throughout the turn angle measurement. When prompted by the arrow pointing up, turn the wheel to the middle position until the stop sign appears. The system will process the data and show results with a green check mark when complete. Steer axle measurement is now complete. The measurements before and after adjustment are displayed on completion. Press the number 2 on the right of the screen. A dialog box will tell you to move the clamps to the second axle to begin rigid axle measurements. With clamps attached and cameras forward, press camber. Results appear immediately. Press the toe out of square button and make sure the camera is facing the front scale. When the green light indicates the reflector is ready, press OK. Rotate the camera to the rear scale. Wait for green light, then press OK again. Repeat on the opposite side. Axle 2 measurement is now complete. Press the number 3 on the right side of the program screen to switch to Axle 3. Move the clamps from the second to third axle. Once attached and cameras facing forward, press camber. The results will appear immediately. After completing camber, press the toe out of square button. For the toe out of square measurement, press the button and point the passenger side camera to the front scale. Press OK when the camera's green light indicates the camera is read properly. Rotate the camera to the rear scale and press OK. Repeat on the opposite side. Axle 3 and the total 3 axle vehicle measurement is now complete. Press the green circles at any time for live readings. Camber left and right, total toe, or single toe from the menu, and out of square. Press the I symbol on the right side of the screen for a summary of total vehicle measurements. Save and exit by pressing the disk on the right side of the screen. For more information or questions regarding Axis 4000, please contact All Parts Supply at 800-381-1330.